Be with us alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. 15 rounds in the middleweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Sergio Mora's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. In the middle corner, his professional record consists of 62 wins, including 52 knockouts and only three losses by William Newark. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. His adversary with a record of 22 wins, six knockouts and one loss. From, from Los, Los Angeles, Angeles, the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora! Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. They've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Don't stay in one spot, circle. You know, you often talk about this style that Hagler's facing tonight as something that wants to create chaos, and an orthodox guy wants to create some chaos in there. Hagler creates a lot of problems for no matter who he's facing. He can bring a little of his own. Well, but that's what he's got to remember is that what makes him so special, so great, is that he's not just a seek and destroy guy. You know, Hegler's a guy who's very diverse when he wants to be. You know, he can do a little bit of everything. He can do what it calls for for the moment. Just like that, and just like that. that means he has a good intellect. That means that he has, you know, a, a real patient core to him. And he needs to use that tonight, is that understand that he'll get his way but it may take a couple rounds. You know, he, he's got to set it up. Good job on the two-punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Move! Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Last 10 seconds. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. a clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Marvin Hagler. You know, that nickname, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, is more than just a nickname. He legally changed his name, Teddy, to Marvelous. And I think what's interesting about that, Joe, is it shines a light on a different sort of aspect of Marvin Hagler. You look at him, you think of the blue-collar guy, the guy that just looks to do his business, but this reminds you that he has an ego. 
You don't think of Marvin Hagel in that way of a guy that has an ego. You think of Leonard, you think of Hearns, you think of Duran, but this shows you that anybody to be great, they have an ego somewhere, and he has his. Moore is sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. left hand from Mora. Hagler swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Marvin Hagler's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. And round number three is underway. Hagler's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Right back to the midsection. Blocks that belt line well. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good job with another left hand. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. A well-targeted hook to the head by Sergio Mora. Doubling up the jab by Marvin Hagler. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Headshot lands with a hook. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And something you got to start early and stay with. Just listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. He takes a step back. Then the counterpunch by Marvin Hagler. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Hagler's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Nice work. Off the target by the Latin snake, Sergio Mora. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Marvin Hagler. He 
Adler's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing... Sergio Morris hurt by a big shot. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. And that does it for this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Sergio Mora's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. There's that overhand right. Sharp two-punch combination by the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. There's the hook. Mora's in there clinching more now, it seems, Teddy. Is it me, or do you think he's clinching more after being hurt earlier? Well, I think I'm watching a movie where, you know, in those prison of war movies, where they give you sodium pentothal. I think that's what the truth serum was called. And he's telling me the truth right now. Yeah, he is clinching more. He's not right. Hagler is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good look at right hand after he got hit. That was not well targeted by the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. Hagler's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Double jab by Marvin Hagler. Moore is gonna need to do a good job of protecting himself because he started swelling in the midst of that last round. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep them. The start of the sixth round. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice, good, quick jab by the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Mora's stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. That's it, that's it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sergio Mora. <laughs> Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Not able to land the headshot. But gives one. Good work by Sergio Mora. Now he's trying to create an opportunity here as he backs him up against the ropes. Mora's left, landing well. Double jab by Marvin Hagler. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. 
Nice strike after catching one by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Hagler's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. He just missed that shot up top. That's it, just like that. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sergio Mora. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Oh, what a whiff by Marvin Hagler. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Good defense, just covering up down low. That is a sharp uppercut by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Good double jab by Marvin Hagler. Sergio Mora is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Hagler's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, remember that, and the next time, bang, Watch I'm gonna the take hook. advantage. He has his target, he lands a straight right. What a big shot. Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Six. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sergio Mora. And round seven comes to an end. Oh shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Eighth round now underway, and Teddy, your scorecard hasn't changed. Marvin Hagler's in complete control of this fight. He looks unstoppable. I don't see this changing at all. No, the only way it changes is if he gets a little full of himself, you know, if he starts taking things for granted, but I just don't think it's in his makeup. Well, he's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only has 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Sergio Mora is now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punched right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and saying, yeah. why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Hagler's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. That was a miss by Marvin Hagler. <laughs> Marvin Hagler's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And he ties up on the inside. Miss the body shot. Hagler's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, 
works. Get the combination working. Land both punches. Get that hand moving. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sergio Mora. And round Don't eight comes to an end. Hagler's, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here. Start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four. Moore is up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sergio Mora. Nice jab there by Marvin Hagler. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Mora's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Gives one. The right hand scores well. Sharp and accurate one two by the last snake. Big shot. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Sergio Moore is down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. One, two, three, four. It's over. The fight is over. Marvin Hagler's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Marvin Hagler is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.